What's going on guys? I am Black Ops Amazing. Welcome yourselves back to another Zombies video on the channel. Back with a Q&A taking your questions from the comment section below and answer them. If there's anything that you want to know today to do with the zombie storyline or easter eggs, make sure you leave your comments down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you are subscribed, drop a like rated if you enjoy, and without further ado, let's get into it. Here we go. So the first question of today from Legendary Doggo705 says, well actually there's two questions, but the first one is, why is there a plane drop in perks in Zetsubenoshima? And that actually is a good question because we know, or we've been told, it is in the Canorium, that it is Dr. Monty who gives us the perk machines. Yes, it is Group 935 who made them, Dr. Monty helped them out, but it is Monty who transports the perks from place to place. Wherever our characters go to, whether it's Ascension, Kino Deo Toten, Gorod Karovi, when they move location, Dr. Monty puts these perk machines in the locations they go to, to help them out. But clearly, as we see in Zetsubo no Shima, when you start up the game, not long after you will see in the sky there is a plane flying by that is on fire and it drops a perk machine from it. We see a plane dropping the perks in Zetsubo no Shima, but why is that happening if we were told that it's Dr. Monty who gives us the perks? If that's the case, why is a plane dropping them. And it is a little bit weird. Is it Dr. Monty? Does he have some control over this? Is this just another way of him giving us the perks? Is he mixing it up a bit? I mean, this still must be Dr. Monty. We're not going to have some random person flying a plane across the sky that has perks in it and he drops the perks for us. I mean, that just doesn't make sense. So this must have something to do with Dr. Monty. Maybe he's being creative in the ways he wants to give us the perks. It's a little bit odd. But yeah, and your second question was who sings the perk jingles? Now I've tried to answer this one before. We can clearly hear in Revelations that Dr. Monty, if you actually do an Easter egg, he will sing the perk jingles. I think he sings the one for Juggernaut and Quick Revive. But in Revelations, he says this. I always try to give you a little help without drawing too much attention to myself. The thing is though, I can't just magic things out of thin air. I have to manipulate things that already exist in your reality, like the perk drinks. They were something originally cooked up by group 935. I just, I just use them for my own ends. <laughs> I honestly don't even know how they work. I, I swear. As for the songs, <laughs> don't get me started. He says, I always try to give you a little help without drawing too much attention to myself. The thing is though, I just can't magic things out of thin air. I have to manipulate things that already exist in your reality, like the perk drinks. There was something originally cooked up by Group Round 35. I just use them for my own ends. I honestly don't even know how they work. I, I, I swear. As for the songs, don't get me started. So he doesn't exactly give it away whether it's him who makes the songs, but the way that he says that as for the songs, don't get me started, he makes it sound like he has something to do with it. If you listen to the Perch Jingle songs, it doesn't sound like it's his voice that's singing them. And as I said, for an Easter egg, we actually do hear him sing some of them in Revelations. So to try and answer your question, who sings the Perch Jingles? I mean, Dr. Monty hints that it could be him, but it doesn't sound like him, so we're not really sure. The next question from Kevin Micro oh, Zilla says, Hey BOA, in 5, why does the Pentagon Thief steal your weapon? Love your videos, please answer. I mean, you just you just said he, his name's the Pentagon Thief. He's a thief, he steals weapons. Next question, no, I'm, I'm joking. Well, it seems like he steals the character's weapons to slow them down. From the Canorium, we learn that on November the 5th of 1963, after obeying Samantha's wishes in Ascension, Yuri tricks Gersh into activating the Gersh device. The device was turned on, a rift was created, and which it then sucked up Gersh and allowed Samantha to travel through. But as we know, Yuri was also sucked up through the rift and transported to the Pentagon. So when the Gersh device opened an ascension, not only did it take Gersh with it, not only did Samantha use that to travel through, but it also sucked in Yuri, where he was teleported to the Pentagon. What it doesn't say there was exactly how Yuri got turned into the thief. How did he end up going from looking like a normal person to this? How did him traveling through the rift 
cause him to change and look like this. Our characters have many times travelled through the rifts, Richthof and Takio, Nikolai, Dempsey. They've all done it and none of them change. So why when Yuri goes through, why does he change? It's a bit weird. Maybe when he's travelling through time, he becomes infected with 115 and then... When he comes out the other end, this is the result, this is what he looks like. And then because he's a zombie, Samantha then has the ability to control him and so tells him to stop or slow down the five characters. It also says in the Canorium just after on November the 6th of 1963, in the Pentagon, JFK, Richard Nixon, Robert McNamara and Fidel Castro, in the aftermath of the Cuban Missile Crisis, due to the events that have occurred at Ascension, a zombie outbreak happens in the Pentagon. And so, Samantha sends Yuri to the Pentagon to thwart their survival. And then after Gersh is freed from Ascension and the Ultimus crew leave, the outbreak at five ends and all four survive. So in the original timeline, all of the five characters survive. We know in an alternate dimension they die, but in the original timeline, the one that we play in game, the map five, the characters actually survive because the outbreak at the Pentagon ends. But getting back to answer your original question, the reason the Pentagon thief steals their weapons is because Samantha sent Yuri there to prevent their survival. And obviously he thought by stealing their weapons, they'd have no means of defense to survive the hordes of the undead. Cool Puppy says, what if Dr. Monty dies? What would they do without the mystery box, perks and stuff like that? Also, why do we have to pay points? Can't Monty just give us free stuff? So I've tried to answer that question about the points before, whether that has something to do with Dr. Monty or whether that's just something to make the game harder, we don't know. But it would be interesting though to think if Dr. Monty did die, since he's the one that gives us the perks in the mystery box, does that mean he'd no longer be able to? And actually, I think the bigger question is, is Dr. Monty able to be killed? It's not if he did die, it's could he die? I mean, he is technically a god, that's how we see him. He's been living for eons, hundreds, millions of years now. So if he's been living for that long, I I'm thinking that he can't die. I mean, he's a god, can gods die? I, I don't I don't exactly know. The two ordinary pranksters said, BOA. Why does Stuhlinger have a book in Buried and not in Transit or Die Rise? Also, love your videos. And I, I really like this question because I remember thinking about this or seeing it about a year ago now. I can't remember if I actually made a video on it. I don't think I did. But this is really interesting. So if you don't know what this guy means, if you take a look at the character model of Stuhlinger in either Transit or Die Rise, this is what he looks like right now you can see he looks pretty normal his clothing looks nice and neat there's no blood on him and also you can't see a book anywhere on his body but then if you take a look at his character model for buried he looks quite a bit different his glasses are broken he's got blood on him and also there is a book in his pocket. Suddenly his character model has changed between the maps die rise and buried and he's now got in his pocket a book. Now the blood and the broken glasses can be explained. We know that there's a two year gap between Darius and Buried. In between that time the characters were just wandering the earth, waiting for the voices of Maxis and Richthofen to return. And so in between that time they were just wandering the earth, fighting off against the horde of zombies. So you could say the reason why he's now got blood and broken glasses is because he's been fighting zombies and that's the reason. But what can't be explained is the book. Why all of a sudden from Darius to Buried has he gained this book in his pocket? And more importantly, what is it? Now, obviously, the first question that comes to mind is, is this the Canorium? Does Samuel have the Canorium in his pocket? But that wouldn't make sense because we know he doesn't have the Canorium in Buried. He actually gets it after. But he has this book in his pocket before. He doesn't have it in Die Rise, and then all of a sudden on the next map we play, he does. Now as far as I'm aware, this isn't mentioned in any quotes. This isn't mentioned in the actual Canorium. We're not told about this. It's just so strange that all of a sudden, his model has changed from Die Rise to Buried, and he's gained this book for no apparent reason. There must be a reason as to why Treyarch decided to give him this. As I said, it, it can't be the Canorium, because he doesn't get that until after Buried. I mean, maybe there's the slight chance that it is the Canorium, and Treyarch just down the line decided to change the storyline and add all of this information in the comics where they gained it after, so could say that, but that doesn't really seem likely. I don't know, it's just weird. Maybe you guys have a better idea, let me know in the comment section below. Could it be his diary? As far as I know, he doesn't have one. Could it be an instruction manual for something? Again, it's a bit odd. These are just random ideas, but why does Samuel suddenly have a book in his pocket when he didn't have it in the previous map, Die Rise? What is it? Where did it come from? Why does he have it. 
The Dragon Gamer says, BOA, why does my dog hate me and when I play with dirt? Um, why, why does this have six thumbs up? Anyway, guys, there we go. That is it for today's video. Hopefully, you have all enjoyed. As always, drop a like rating if you haven't already. If you have, you guys are absolute legends. But of course, you don't have to if you don't want to. Make sure you are subscribed to stay up to date with the latest zombies content on the channel. Leave any questions you have down below. And of course, we'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching and goodbye.